let's look at my third example. So it says state of these three numbers could be the measures of the sides of a triangle. So that goes back to the triangle inequality theorem. So I need to check three different scenarios. So first, I'm going to take 6 plus 12, and I want to know, is that bigger than my third side? Well, 6 plus 12 is 18, so yep, that's good. So then I'll take a different two. So I'm going to take the 6 and the 10. So is that going to be bigger than my third side, which is 12? Well, 16 is bigger than 12. And then I'll take my third side, which is going to be the 10 and the 12. So 10 plus 12, is that bigger than 6? Well, 22 is bigger than 6. So yes, if I would draw those lengths, I would make a triangle. Now we can't tell what type, but I'm not going to ask you that. So let's look at my fourth example. So on example four, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take any two sides, and I want to know, is that bigger than 10? Well, yeah, 17 plus 7 is. So then I'll just take the next two. So 7 plus 10, is that bigger than 17? So 7 plus 10 is 17. Is 17 bigger than 17? No, they are equal. So you can't have it be the same number. It actually has to be bigger. So this would leave a hole and it would not make a triangle.